Hello, so I'm on the bus. Um, we're on a stop right now in Hokkaido. We still have about maybe half an hour to an hour before we get to our hotels, but looking forward. Hello, so we're, it's Monday, ending Monday. Uh, we got to Hokkaido uh, around like 9 o'clock in the morning we landed. We were on a Pokemon plane. So we got to, we finally got to the hotel. We're at the Hilton Niseko Village Hotel. We got here around 12.30, 1 o'clock? 12.30. 12.30. Um, we got to check in early, which is nice. And uh, I think I mentioned it before, but Kim has celiac. So we also had to do our restaurant stuff and we confused a lot of people. <laughs> but she can explain that a little bit more. Anyways, <laughs> Kim, so you're the only one with any athletic ability or desire to go out in the cold. How was your day? Um, it was windy. Um, some of the top lifts were shut down, but I had some fresh tracks and shredded some sick pow. You know, snowboarding terms. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand anything. No. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. Um, awesome view of Mount Yote. Yep. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll have bluebird skies so I can see it even better. Um, but I got an all-mountain ski pass so I can go to the other side of the mountain too. So we'll check out Grand Harafu because right now we're at Niseko Village. Yep. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. How about, how did, uh, rentals and stuff like that go? Rentals were super easy. Everyone spoke English, so I pretty much just had to fill in a form and do it. And I had to change my boot size and it was no problem. So, real helpful. Yes. Pretty cheap, too. You can rent out mittens and goggles in a full set of snowboard pants if you don't have any. I brought my own, but they have it if you want it. Cool. And, mm -hmm. let's see, anything else? And uh, then I did onsen. Yes. Had a little Niki time in an outdoor onsen, and it was gorgeous and snowing all around me in the outdoors. I loved it. Nice. And how about dinner? After we confused those <laughs> ladies. So one of the, the dietitian ladies had to come up to our room because she was so worried about cross-contamination. She is a manager in training. I got her business card, and she told me to call her so she could meet me at dinner time to make sure everything was all right. And then when we got to dinner at, where did we go? Yote? Yep. Yote. The master chef came up to me as they plated my my own little personal shabu shabu. He gave me his business card with this phone number. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just to make sure everything was all right. And then the manager in training came back to make sure my breakfast would be okay. Yep. She came back twice during dinner. And I'm pretty sure she wasn't supposed to be working anymore because... That was quite the time gap between when we saw her. Yes, so she was working some overtime for me, which I really appreciated. Yeah, and, and what about the wait staff? <laughs> 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 they are very helpful and accommodating. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we had some perfectly coiffed hair going on. <laughs> some nice coiffed waiter hair, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and they chased me outside the restaurant after we paid just to make sure that everything was okay. Yeah, it scared the crap out of us. <laughs> what did we forget? <laughs> Excuse me. But, yeah. It was very nice. So, any anything else you want to add to this first day? What are you looking forward to tomorrow? Oh, God. I just want to hit some of the more, uh, more of the backcountry trails. Because okay. I hit some of them, but I was running out of daylight. Yeah, so... so um, but what time do you think you're going to get up tomorrow? I'm going to get up at 6.30. I want to get first chair, which I think is late. It's at 8.30 compared to most American mountains. It's usually like 8 o'clock, so yeah. we'll see. All right. Okay. Show some sick gnar, and right now I'm going to play this stupid video game. <laughs> Hakuoki. It is a dating sim, an otome game as they call it here, based on the Shinsengumi. And Kim, why don't you tell us about the first time you played through? How did that go? I killed everyone in Japan. <laughs> this is a dating game, and I killed everyone in Japan. <laughs> so pretty much the end result is if you don't get a boyfriend fast enough, you eliminate the entire human population. I did this Japan. three times in a row. This game is a sick joke. So anybody who thinks that dating sims are stupid, cheesy, and easy, well, two out of three are right. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so why don't you say goodnight, Kim? Good night, everyone. Bye.